Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Today we're going to talk about a scenario with Power Automate where I have a flow that I want to trigger from, um, from a stream deck. Before we do today's video, I just want to do a quick um, shout out for Serverless 360 who are helping me grow the channel. So if we look um, up at the top here, if we do a search in Google for Serverless 360 Power Automate, you'll see that there's some articles and videos here about um, how to use Serverless 360 to help you improve the management and monitoring of Power Automate solutions, especially if you're combining a solution that has Power Automate and Azure. Um, so I've done some videos previously about that. So in Serverless 360, there's two modules that can help you. The Business Apps module can do monitoring, looking for failures in any Power Automate flows and raise alerts if you have any. And then we've also got business activity monitoring where you can give business users self-service capability to see what's happening in the flows and then potentially re uh, reprocess flows. Back to today's video then. So this scenario here is um, about a year, maybe two years ago, I wrote this um, blog post and an, an article about um, a solution where I wanted to create a flow that would clean up my inbox so we all get millions of emails every year um some emails you when once you've read them you just want to get rid of them and some when you've read them you want to archive them and then there's questions about do you want some kind of structure or do you want to just search when you need stuff and that kind of thing so i wanted a little bit of a structure for how i manage emails um, so i created a, a power automate flow where i would i would trigger the flow and it would just go through and clean my inbox out and this whole idea about getting to in, inbox zero i think we call it so here's a, a link up here to the previous um video and blog article um so what we want to do here is i have this flow and currently what it does i've got my power in uh, my clean inbox power automate when it's triggered it goes and interacts with Office 365 Exchange, goes through my emails that I've already read, juggles them around into different places, gets rid of the ones that um, that probably um, I don't need to keep, and then it'll give me a notification in Teams when it's done. And what I um, what I did is on Power Automate, I created this second flow here, which has a flow button in it, which lets me use the Power Automate mobile app. I can trigger this proxy flow and it'll just call the one that has all, all of the logic in it for how to clean my inbox out. So what I wanted to do, um, because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to open the Power Automate app every time, um, every time I want to run this and I'm in the, the log cabin office. Um, at the end of the day, I've got a little stream deck. So just below the whiteboard, um, that I'm drawing on at the minute. I've got a little stream deck on the, the little desktop here with a, a button on it. Um, so if you imagine this, this is the one in my log cabin. And what I wanted to do was just click a little button here on the stream deck at the end of the day when I'm going out the office, going home, um, click my little button. It'll go and trigger my clean inbox flow and, um, and it'll do all the, all the bits of magic. So what I wanted to change or how I did this is... Um, same concept where I had this proxy flow here. I created a proxy one for stream where I could have the stream button trigger this proxy flow and that would call the child flow. Now, the reason I did this will come on to in the second, um, in, in a slide or two's time. But really what I'm thinking is if ever I want to have another way to trigger it, I could just do another flow for something else. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put it um, an RPA bot so if we had a bot up here, I could trigger from Teams, trigger it, and that could call the same flow. We can reuse the process logic, but trigger it in different ways. Now, how this works then, so in my flow, um, I've, this is the proxy flow. So here I've got an HTTP um, trigger that would um, receive a request. I need this URL here because I'm going to, um, I'm going to, put that in my stream button now what i've uh, sorry my stream deck button what i've done here is this this bit is um i guess this is specific to power automate um you don't get that far, uh, that feature in logic apps of who can trigger the flow so this is a way of simplifying the authentication so you can say only people of my tenant 
and things like that. So you can you can make it really easy for the Power Automate user to, to implement some security that would hit common scenarios. Because I'm coming in from my Stream Deck, um, there's a couple of different ways you could do it. I'm going to try and do it the most basic way without any third-party plugins. So I'm just going to trigger it via the URL. So I'm going to make this flow triggerable by anybody. So I would need to grab this URL with a little copy button here. The other key thing to note is um, I need the method to be get. So by default, your Power Automate is going to be a post. But the Stream Deck, um, the, the action I'm going to use needs to do with gets. So this is one of the other reasons why I have this, this proxy here is to handle um, needing a get and it also um, I'm going to open the security up whereas this one here is a bit more locked down and it's um, it, it, it's just the default it already had a post and it's already called by this this other flow so I don't really want to change it so they're the, they're the three key points here who can trigger it the URL and the method and then this is the Stream Deck console. So this is the button that I've added. I added my own little custom icon here where I just snipped it from um, from Office 365 to put an email out icon on and I've, I've called it clean. So it's pretty clear it's a clean inbox. Um, so here's where I'm setting the title. Here's where I'm pasting the URL for my, um, for my Power Automate flow. So... That full URL, when it's allowing anyone to call it, that's going to have a signature in the URL. So that's how it handles the security to call your flow. And then the other key bit that you're going to want is this little running background. So if you don't tick that box, when you click the button, this this is the um, the website action. So if you if you don't tick that box, it'll pop open a browser and it'll show that um, URL in the browser. Whereas if I run it in the background, the browser doesn't pop open. And I would just be able to um, trigger the flow from my button and it'll just go away and do its thing. So that, that's one of the reasons why when it's running, I, I get a few notifications from Teams about it. Now, as I say, there, there are other plugins you can add in Stream that would appear, uh, Stream Deck, which would appear here. Um, so you can do more advanced things with those third party plugins like call it or API, add input messages and all that kind of thing. But this one here, just driving the the website's really simple to use. It's an easy pattern if I want to do, you know, I could do this with logic apps as well. I could put a proxy logic app to some logic and just trigger a process from my stream button, which is quite nice. Okay, so here, just showing what happens. So here's my stream deck. You can see it's actually looking a bit dusty on that photograph, which you can't really tell when you look at it directly. So here's the little button that I've got. So I click that button. It makes a call up to the top of that Power Automate flow, and then it starts going through here. So you can see we've got this little Teams notification to tell me that the process started. We get the emails, we go through them, we do a bunch of work, and then we post a message at the end. And, and that's where I get this Teams message here showing me what happened with that email. So hopefully this is a really easy walkthrough of just making my stream deck when I'm presenting or finishing the day. I can put buttons on here to trigger some automations that will just help me just be a bit more efficient at work, which I think will be quite cool. Um, so hopefully you found this video useful. Um, please like and subscribe, comment. Tell me if you've got a better way of doing this with Stream Deck. Maybe there's other people using certain plugins that work really well. Please recommend some um, if you find they're really good. Um, hope everyone has a great week. Take care.